The question is this. Under what conditions is war justified? The answer to that question is first and foremost the condition of love. And I would argue that the true love protects the innocent against the evil of an aggressor. And that this kind of love sometimes inevitably leads, well, leads towards war. Let me give you an example. Among other things, our love for the Jewish people led to war. They were being systematically exterminated by Hitler's nefarious socialist republic. And that, and that mandated that the United States of America enter an alliance of nations determined to expunge the Nazi menace. Moreover, just as governing authorities have a duty to protect citizens from mob aggression, so too, a government's military is justified in thwarting evil aggressors that seek to force their mayhem upon humanity. And thus in Romans 13, the Apostle Paul says, rulers do not bear the sword in vain. There's a classic monograph that I that I quoted in my book, Muslim, What You Need to Know About the World's Fastest Growing Religion. The monograph is titled, The Crusades, Christianity, and Islam. And in it, Jonathan Riley Smith explains three criteria of just war theory. The first is this. A just war is never entered into lightly or for engrandizement, but only for a legally sound reason, which has to be reactive. Second, it must be formally declared by an authority recognized as having the power to justly make this kind of declaration. And third, and perhaps this ought to be first, it must be waged justly. A just war theory, then, serves as justification for defensive warfare in very specific circumstances to protect the innocent and to fulfill the command to love one's neighbor. Our Lord put it this way, greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Our Lord here is alluding to his own imminent death on the cross. But but his point that self-sacrifice is evidence of love and action has universal application. In in fact, Paul reiterates this point in saying that at just the right time, while we were still powerless, Christ, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man. Though for a good man, someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us.